Welcome back. You're watching the Prime Edition. Members of Parliament from arid areas now want the government to disburse the 10 billion shillings yeah. for drought mitigation through cash transfer to affected persons. Speaking in Parliament, the lawmakers called for the elimination of bureaucracies in the disbursement of funds, claiming their constituents were losing livelihoods awaiting the distribution of food rations. The National Assembly has allocated 6 billion shillings in the supplementary budget for drought mitigation in a bid to save lives in arid and semi-arid areas. The Cabinet has similarly approved the expenditure of another 4 billion shillings on food rations and animal feeds for those affected by the dry spell. These efforts have been complemented by USAID, which has committed 16 billion shillings to drought and famine mitigation. Uh, Honorable Speaker. But MPs from Northern Kenya feel the funds are inadequate considering the magnitude of the situation. The budget of this country is around 3 trillion. Three trillion. If you release 4 billion for people dying, you know, uh, 15 counties, that is not enough. We know the crisis that we are in as a government, but I will say it is not enough, and the government knows it is not enough. But I want to tell you that four billion, at least if it is distributed equally, it will help some uh, the situation as it is. The lawmakers called for elimination of bottlenecks in the disbursement of the funds. Remember the two billion which was used last year, I think two years ago, to never reach anybody. So I don't know whether this money is going being lost. The MPs now want the money disbursed to affected communities through cash transfers. Ametoa hii 4 4 billion na pia wafadhili wale ambao wametoa lakini swali ni je hii pesa itaenda kwa kwa the right hands. We want to have a proper channel so this money can reach the people in good time. The very much in terms of cash. Meanwhile, the National Assembly now wants the State Department of Social Protection to continuously register the elderly to benefit from the cash transfer program for the elderly. Majority of the people who are at the age of 60s, they are now at the right bracket to access this cash. And yet, uh, the Ministry of Social Protection has not updated the register. Really to take time and consider registering new members, which are a lot of them, but more than anything, there has to be a way that we need to increase the amount that they are receiving at the moment. Supporting a motion by Kilome MP Thaddeus Nzabia, the MPs lamented the last registration of elderly persons was done in 2016, thereby denying persons who have since attained the age of 65 years. Ishoke Washira, Prime Edition.